Okay, we are looking at uh, Unit 4 of Bridges Math 4th grade, and this is called Number, Riddles, and Stories. And we're starting with some uh, matching <clears throat> these riddles to the numbers. And let's just quickly review even and odd numbers, and we are always going to be looking in the ones place <clears throat> to figure out if a number is even or odd. So even in the ones place... You're looking at 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, and odd, on the other hand, you have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So that should help us out <clears throat> with some of these, because we have that coming up. Um, but here we go. Even number with 6 in the hundreds place. So there are your hundreds places, <clears throat> and we have two numbers here that have 6 in the hundreds place. This one is odd, this one is even, so it must be that one. And uh, I think the other ones, maybe just try it on your own and do those on your own. And then we are writing these numbers out. <clears throat> so just remember, uh, it depends on what other languages you speak. But if you're speaking <clears throat> uh, in Japanese or Korean, each of these is its own place value. But in English, those will stick together. And if you have six digits, they also stick together. <clears throat> So just keep that as the thousands place and write the rest of it out. One other thing is use a little hyphen <clears throat> for numbers like 33. And then you put your thousand. And this is interesting because there's, no, there's nothing in the hundreds place here, right? So then you just skip that and you just do 72, which is also hyphenated like so. <clears throat> and now you need to write a number here. So... Um, even number, seven in the hundreds place, odd number in the thousands place, and is a multiple of 10. So we need uh, four digits for sure. And you can have more if you want, but <clears throat> one thing we definitely need is we need this um, seven in the hundreds place. So let's take care of that first. And we need an odd number in the thousands place so that's your choice what you want to put there as long as it's an odd number <clears throat> in the thousands place and then here's the trickier part multiple of 10 multiples of 10 would be 10 20 30 40 and so on <clears throat> so basically the even number in the ones place has to be a zero because all multiples of 10 have a zero in the ones place so that goes there, and then what happens in the tens place is kind of up to you <clears throat> for that one. So just keep going. And then over here, we have some problems to solve. So first of all, Felipe's family is driving. They have to drive 856 miles, and they've gone 269 miles so far. <clears throat> so how much further? I'm going to use a little number line to solve this one. So... This is how far they have to drive, but they've already gone 269 miles. <clears throat> so how do we get to 856? Well, I would go to 300 first. And what do you need to do to get to 300 from there? You need to add 31. And then <clears throat> if you go to 800 next, what do you need to add to get to 800? And then this last part, what do you need to add there? So what are you adding up? And then take those three numbers and add them together and you'll get your answer. Or there's other ways to do it too, but that's one way you can do it. These next ones, uh, let's just look at what they're saying. So read that one to yourself. You, you're starting with this, <clears throat> but then we gave 38 books to another class. So what does that tell you? That's going to be minus that. But then our teacher got, oops, our teacher got 97 more books. So that should be telling you uh, that's plus. So you're adding those 97 books <clears throat> and the rest of that you can do on your own. And then down here, last one, the challenge we have 296 jelly beans from Nikki and Caitlin. 
was guessing 435. So then we need to put those together. So might as well show you do new ways to do things. If I look at this, I'm almost to 300, right? How many more do I need? I need four more. So I'm taking four from there. And how much would be left? 431. So that's giving me 300. And then if I add those together easily, I can almost do that in my head. Um, just don't forget, once you have that, that's Nikki and Caitlin together. Don't forget uh, Samira guessed 52 more. So then you need to go 52 more from there. But I think that's enough to get you through those. And this is Number Riddles and Stories. And thank you.